This webinar and any associated materials are for educational purposes only. The information provided is not intended to cure, treat, prevent disease, and these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. While we never know precisely how severe spring and summer allergy seasons will be, the traditional thought process is the milder the winter, the longer the season will be due to what is known as the priming effect. When winter weather turns unexpectedly warm, pollens and molds are released into the air earlier than usual, then die down when it's cold again. This pattern of weather can prime a person's allergic reaction, so when the allergens reappear as the weather gets warmer, allergy symptoms are worse than ever. And this is why some years people say their allergies are worse and some years they're better. Allergies can strike at any age, even if someone has never had seasonal allergy symptoms, they can start at any stage of life. Common symptoms include red watery eyes, itching of the eyes and nose, runny nose, tickling of the throat or the palate. Chronic allergies can develop into bronchitis and or asthma. An allergy is an inappropriate response by the body's immune system to a substance that's not normally harmful. Usually our immune system can distinguish between toxic foreign invaders and non-toxic ones and thus selectively mobilize the white blood cells to fight off any chance of infection. Allergic reactions occur when the immune system overreacts to an allergen releasing chemicals into the bloodstream. These chemicals can cause inflammation of the skin, the nose, throat, lungs, or intestines. The airborne allergies we think of each spring usually result in watery eyes, runny nose, and itchy throats. Allergies are actually secondary symptoms to the inappropriate response by the immune system to something that's normally harmless. Poor dietary habits, dysbiosis, early weaning of infants, and increased exposure to toxins and stress all work to impair the immune system. A family history of allergies makes a person more prone to developing them. The immune system controls how the body defends itself. For instance, if you have an allergy to pollen, your immune system identifies pollen as an invader or an allergen. When an allergen first enters the human body, the immune system overreacts by producing IgE antibodies, which combine with mast cells. Newly entering antigens bind with the combined IgE antibodies, causing the mast cells to release irritant substances that cause allergic reactions. Histamine is a chemical irritant the mast cells release which irritates tissues such as the mucosa of the throat and nose, evoking an allergic reaction with symptoms such as coughing, sneezing, and runny nose. Allergic rhinitis may be seasonal or year-round. The seasonal allergy, also called hay fever, typically occurs in the spring, summer, or fall. Symptoms include sneezing, stuffy or runny nose, and itching of the nose, eyes, or the roof of the mouth. When the symptoms are year-round, they may be caused by exposure to indoor allergens such as dust, dust mites, or indoor molds or pests. Allergic conjunctivitis occurs when the eyes react to the allergens with symptoms of reddening, itching, and swelling. Uticaria, or hives, is characterized by itching red bumps that can occur in clumps and be either large or small. Hives are often triggered by certain foods or medications. Asthma is a chronic lung disease characterized by coughing and chest tightness, shortness of breath, and wheezing. Up to 78% of those with asthma have allergic rhinitis. The role of allergy in asthma is greater in children than in adults. When you first experience asthmatic symptoms, your inflamed airways become narrowed, making it more difficult to breathe. If you have allergies, inhaling allergens may cause increased swelling of your airway lining and further narrow your air passages. Asthma may also occur as a result of a respiratory tract infection or exposure to irritants like tobacco smoke. Sinusitis and otitis media are other common allergic diseases often triggered by allergic rhinitis. Sinusitis is a swelling of the sinuses, which are hollow cavities within the cheekbones around your eyes and behind your nose. Otitis media, or ear infections, is the most common childhood disease requiring physician care. 
If not properly treated, it can affect a child's speech and language development. So in review, allergies are symptoms. They're a result of a chain reaction that starts in your immune system. If you have a family history of allergies, you're at a much higher risk of developing allergic diseases. The types of allergic diseases include rhinitis or hay fever, eczema, hives, asthma, and food allergies. Food, medication, insect stings, and exposure to latex can trigger an anaphylaxis reaction, which is a serious allergic reaction that happens very quickly and in some instances may be fatal. If you or anyone you are with begin to have an anaphylactic reaction, call for medical help and get them to the closest emergency room. Approximately 50 million Americans suffer from some form of allergic disease, and the number is increasing. We have an allergy protocol that's effective for most people. It's safe for young kids right through senior citizens, and it includes three products, Allergy New England Mix, Natural Creations Nasal Spray, and Dehist, and the chewable form Dehist Junior. Allergy New England Mix is a liquid combination of homeopathics to help the body respond more appropriately to the pollens, the trees, grass, shrubs that are native to New England that cause problems. It's a liquid spray. It's two sprays in the mouth three times a day. doesn't make you drowsy or speed you up and it is safe from young kids through senior citizens. The ideal time to start is right before the season begins, but it's never too late. It'll help reduce your symptoms and can help the body respond more appropriately. It's formulated to cover a wide range of symptoms, and here's a list of some of them. The runny nose, itching and burning of eyes, the irritation of the um, lungs, the itching of the throat, the cough, all the different problems that we have when we're reacting to the pollens. Natural Creations Nasal Spray comes in a very convenient pump. It's a spray or two in each nostril up to six times a day. It has histaminum in it, which helps relieve the allergic reactions. It's not an antihistamine that blocks the receptor site. It helps calm down the mast cells so the body will react more appropriately. And there's about six different remedies in there to help with the symptoms. Again, safe from young people, right through seniors, won't raise your blood pressure. In capsule a chewable form, we recommend Dehist. It has quercetin, stinging nettle, bromelain, and N acetyl L cysteine. This helps calm down the allergic reaction, the mast cells. It can help with the itching. The N acetyl L cysteine helps thin the mucus so you can get it up and out much easier. Dehis comes in capsules for adults and a delicious tasting chewable for kids. By using a neti pot, you're removing the allergen from the sinus cavities. Many ENTs and MDs are now recommending a neti pot. To use the neti pot, you fill it with warm distilled water, add salt, and let it dissolve. You can add three drops of a product Allergy HP to the solution. That's a homeopathic that'll get it into the tissue that's irritated and help calm it down. At the sink or in the shower, lean forward, place the tip of the pot in your nose, and tilt your head to the side. Gravity pulls the water from the neti pot up and over your sinus passages, washing out any pollen grains that are stuck to the mucous membranes. This helps reduce the activity of the mast cells and helps the immune system stop overreacting. You can repeat with the other nostril and use once or twice a day till you feel better. Please feel free to contact us. Stop in at 577 Main Street in Waltham. You can call us at 781-893-3870 or visit our website at naturalcompounder.com. And for more information, if you go to shop.naturalcompounder.com, we have a lot of information about all the products I talked about. Hope you feel better.